today we are going to master, yes I said master, all of the ways to use up your corn. From cutting the corn off the cob to even milking corn, we will get every last drop of corn's magic out of each ear. Having the cob and standing the pieces on the cut side prevents them from sliding around the cutting surface. And here's how you do it. Cut the cob in half crosswise, then stand each half on its flat cut end. Using a chef's knife, cut the kernels off the cob one side at a time. Corn milk is the term for the sweet pulp and juices that are left behind when kernels are stripped from the cob. And many recipes call for capturing this pulp to add to dishes such as soups and chowders, risotto, or polenta. But don't bother freezing it. We found that its fresh flavor faded noticeably. Hold a stripped corn cob over a bowl and firmly scrape up and down all the sides of the cob with the back of a butter knife. And this will yield about one tablespoon of corn milk, both the pulp and the liquid, per ear. Briefly simmering stripped corn cobs can produce a surprisingly flavorful stock that can enrich polenta, cornbread, and vegetable soups. And it also freezes very well. Cut eight corn cobs into quarters. Place them into a large pot with two quarts of water. Bring that to a simmer and cook for 15 minutes. Now strain the liquid through a fine mesh strainer and this will yield about seven and a half cups of stock. Corn, which is botanically a cereal grain, freezes better than most vegetables because it's low in water and relatively high in starch and cellulose, which strengthens the kernel's cell's walls. Now starch and cellulose also make the kernels less susceptible to damage by ice crystal formation. Commercial manufacturers blanch corn before freezing it, but when we froze batches of blanched and unblanched kernels for one month, we didn't find any flavor differences between them. But what did matter, drying the kernels well and freezing them in a single layer before bagging them for a long-term freezer storage. This step ensured that no ice crystals formed on the surface and that the kernels didn't stick together once frozen. Now here's how you do it. Spread kernels on a dish towel lined rimmed baking sheet and pat dry. Now remove the towel from the sheet, spread the kernels into an even layer and freeze for one hour. Transfer the kernels to a zipper lock bag Press out the air, seal the bag, and then return it to the freezer. And with these tricks and tools, you now know how easy it is to get the most out of your corn. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.